he'd come back. But when Prime calls all of us, come back real quick. Lorenzo is back and he's a little bitch. Shall we, shall we boys? Oh, Prime we shall. You know, you guys should have started up, you should have started up the freaking, guys, you could have started up the other night. We, we were doing the whole thing. We rehearsed. And, and you guys just, oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. My bad, G, my bad, my bad, shit, calm down. That's not like, like, dude, I tore you away from freaking, I tore you away from your chicks, calm down. No, I was, see, no, I was, like, Ron Ram wanted me to go to that, go with them to the park. So, so that's a yes or no about, you know, you and, you and Blanc getting down dirty. Bugsy, can we, Prime, can we stick to the matter in hand? Yeah, 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 I know, I know. Well, it feels good that we're just dealing with Lorenzo. I had to go deal with Bill all freaking the last few weeks. So, this is gonna be a little easy. We're gonna be, we're gonna fill this with so much jokes, man. Oh, when he has he has George something's belt, I see, and I was like, so you think just because you got one little win, one little win, Lorenzo, you think you think you're big and bad? Exactly. He thinks he's fuck. He thinks he's fucking him. That's the funny part. Motherfucker, like, like, ooh, I'm gonna talk to my, talk to my fans, because they want to see me. No, they want to see you fail. They want to see you fail, Lorenzo. They want to see you die again. Because that's all you do. You come back. You come back, and then you die. You come back, and then you die. You come back, and then you die. <laughs> Bugsy, I swear to, I swear to God, I swear to God, man. I just think it's, I think it's perfectly, I'm a prime. The rest are gonna come back, he gonna get wished away, and then the rest of us are gonna laugh. Like, none of us are gonna care. He's like, oh, oh, we are not talking about the Hood Gang Network, but they are on welfare. And that's why we won't talk about them. And I'm like, dude. And people say, and yeah, we subscribe to the Gay Network. But Prime over here has Kuro Industries. I have my little business. And G's an actual fucking knight. So, what you trying to say, Lorenzo? It's because everybody just... Just because everybody subscribes to the Hood Gang Network doesn't mean that we're all that we're not that we're not wealthy. Yeah, I think it's a stereotype that you think that it's kind of fucked up when you think when you when you consider it though. Yeah. Sometimes it sometimes it just sometimes it's just like that. Life. Five days ago, he was here. Five days ago, we weren't, dudes. We were busy. You were dealing with Bill Prime. I was, I was, uh, I was, I was, uh, taking care of my, taking care of my little Susie. Oh, <laughs> you were? Yeah. Well, that's good. All the hard work is if you go to work and earn a wage. Oh, here he is. Here he is talking about going, going to work and winning a wage. Lorenzo, are you even rich anymore? No, the dude died so many times. I think because when, because when people die, don't they, their assets go to the next to Kim, but like, does Lorenzo even have a family? I doubt it. I doubt it so heavily that he does. 
I mean, okay, Noir, you actually have a good point. Like, probably what do you think? I mean, gee, I, I really believe he doesn't. Because any, any well-frail gotten gains he could have had would have went, would have probably been frozen because he has no nicks again. Like, who would have a kid with Lorenzo? Dude, hopefully. God dang it, the playback's not working. Don't worry, boys. It looks like it looks like this is mess. See, this is the kind of thing I'm talking about. We got these tower TVs, and nobody fixes these freaking. No one fixes these freaking media. These media freaking uplinks. Oh, don't worry, man. I got. I got a better idea. To talk to. Those are the people who want to help and educate. So, if you're a fan of my channel and you can subscribe to me, you know exactly what Nah, we're, we're only subscribed to you, so when you do something, we're just like there. Like, dude, Bugsy called Bugsy call us while we were doing something, and he just. He was like, dude, it's time. And I was like, oh shit! I came over here as fast as I could. Yeah, G took his sweet little time getting down with Vert. Oh, shut up. Shut up, Prime. Why? What? It's the truth. That you were all up in. Yeah, that you were all up in. <laughs> me and Noir pulled you away from a very... Me and, me and Noir took you out of heaven. <laughs> I... <laughs> I hate you, Prime. I fucking hate you. I put. I hate you, Prime. Yeah, whatever you say there, buddy. Let's let's just go save it for him. Dude, Steve Harvey called. He wanted that suit back. When you when you wake up early in the morning to go to work, you don't have to worry about five a.m. Most. Mostly for us, it's like four. Yeah, the Millman Institute's like, you know, I easily had to get up at four because then there's like paperwork and I gotta sign it and then I gotta sign that in triplicate. Yeah, and I usually get up about like, I get up at like six. You do, Noir? Yeah, I get up at like six. Because nothing, because I usually ha I have to uh, get up, make sure Susie goes to. Make sure Susie goes to kindergarten. Uh, Mary is usually either trying to get, trying to get, um, just doing stuff in community theater. So I'm usually like, I'm usually like making sure Susie goes to school. And then I gotta go and open up the office for the day. And then depending on what I'm doing, that usually takes me about eight hours depending on what case I'm running. I usually have to call ahead to tell Mary I'm not going to be there and uh, you're going to have to tuck Susie in by yourself tonight. But usually, you know, Saturdays I usually have, um, I usually have my new partner uh, take over the office for me because I want to spend more time with Susie. So, there that is. Eugene, I'm usually, t I'm usually on patrol uh, where I'm at for like, like at least, um, at least like nine, eight hours. Like, when does it begin? At, at three. Motherfucker, really? Yeah, man. I mean, ever since I met the other version of myself, you know, the one that was telling me about the conquest ending, I always kind of made sure that if ever that sword shows up, or if ever there's another situation, like that other me talked about, I make sure that that never happens. That they never have to go to that extreme. And I made sure that I made sure that blade is destroyed. I broke it. I I broke it. I melted it down. I melted it down again. I freaking scattered the ashes through throughout the throughout the multiverse. So that thing can never be re never be used or built or anything. Because you know what I just figured out? 
the blade itself, right, from the other Mii's timeline, the blade makes, makes whoever touches it think that it's the only way to save their world. Why do you think, what do you think in that universe everybody was acting all uncharacteristic? It's because of the blade itself. Damn. The other me had no chance. We're all chaos lords, so we can't get influenced. But they could. I can't even imagine how he feels. He's in hell now, but he's only in hell because of his own choice. Damn, really? Mm -hmm. But let's get back to talk about Lorenzo. But uh, bottom line, bottom line, there, Clowny J, we all we all got jobs. You go to work, you work your fingers to the bone to earn a salary, and then when payday comes, you're looking forward to that nice salary that you earned, only to have a certain percentage of your salary deducted from you as taxes, and those taxes go to the welfare system to pay for individuals who do not want to go to work. Let me talk about a certain individual. This individual right here. As you can see, he is faking an illness. Mm -hmm. He is claiming disabilities. Okay. Some people do fake illnesses. Your point? You know, alcohol. Or anything to do with his cheap, miserable life. Because he's too lazy to go. Okay, how do, you, how do you know that not every? How do you know not everybody? How do you know not everybody's just down in their fucking luck, man? I some of them don't have no choice. Again, again, Lorenzo, I'm, you know, Noir here. Let me point this out. Some of these people can't get normal jobs. Some of them got to do odd jobs. Some of them got to go, some of them got to go in there because some of them can't even work because they got they got they, gotta, they actually got an injury or disability and they can't work. So, the thing about you, Lorenzo, you were you were obsessed with Bubba Dunk Funkin'. Bubba Dunk Funkin' would have whooped your ass, but you always kind of hid. You sent your little, you sent your little minions. You sent your little minions after them. They whooped, they whooped all sorts of ass. You died one time. You died again. And then you wanted to mess with George something and his crew. George embarrassed you, but somehow you took his belt, which I'm, which I think is fucking hilarious, because literally he's gonna get it back. I like I don't even think you actually wrestled. On that belt, like it's on that belt, like it's something, and even if you did, you either a trick somebody, or b you did something underhanded because you never have earned you've never earned your money fairly let's be real Sid Raymond let's be real there Sid Raymond you never earned your money fairly so why get sitting here talking about everybody else getting a little bit of a handout because because you're a wealthy which is I'm like how we wished you away you didn't even have any more assets they probably have their fr they probably either froze or probably got terminated the moment you were gone. So it's like, how in the fuck do you even have money? My answer, you still have probably people working for you, you know, doing a bunch of under-the-table dealings. That's how you're still getting this money. Keep talking about the welfare trash, my friend. We gonna clown you. We're gonna clown you like it's our job, like like how we used to. It's gonna be great. Ah, uh, dude, do you see the comments though? Dude, the dude, the amount of people's, the amount, the amount of people giving Lorenzo the suck is is is, it's just, I don't understand. Thank you, Lorenzo. You tell them, Lorenzo. I, I'm subscribed to everyone. 
Except for Vo- Except for Vordekai because he doesn't have a channel. Yep. <laughs> yeah, until he doesn't. Is that the motherfucker that eats the cats? And we got two... We got two people... We got Jalen Network, Angry Faces, and Thumbs Down. Lol. No champ... You're no champion at all. I agree! Me too, dude. Me too. It's just... It's like... And some dude named Goku Black Zamasu, so someone like... So... Someone that probably embodies uh, Zamasu's outlook. Eh. Eh, but it is what it is. Oh, oh, look at me. I'm Lorenzo. You know, I actually was. I actually still am royalty. And, like, you know what really, like, irritates me about you, Lorenzo? Even though I was a prince, not everything was handed to me. I left my royal lineage to make my own shit. What'd you do? What'd you do there, Sid Raymond? You know, it's funny you could say that. You're like, you know, your glass. You got your glass houses, man. You're your little glass house. Where no one can hurt you. You saying you got you saying you got that belt? I'm gonna look at man, I'm gonna look and see if George if like the Hood Gang Network even showed a fight between you and George because there ain't no way you won that belt fairly. I'm not gonna believe it. You can say whatever the fuck you want, but I'm not gonna believe it. I'm a, I'm a prime over here. You know? Like, like, Bugsy G over here. And I believe that, like, honestly, you didn't, you didn't win this fairly. The fact that you kind of are just trying to rub it into people's faces pretty much shows how fucking just how big you think you are. If we roll, if we roll up, to, if we roll up to Lorenzo's place, magic a blazing. This man wouldn't know what to do. Does he even have any henchmen? Will we just okay, okay, honestly, 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 will we just walk in there and just be like? It's time, motherfucker, to get punched in the nuts. Prime, you're not dressing up as drawn Pringle just to kick him in the balls. Why not? <laughs> I am a master of disguise, after all. Yeah, but no, yeah, but, yeah, but I, no one wants to do the whole bit. It's kind of played out. Eh, you guys are asses. I think it will work. Once again, Lorenzo has proven once again that he is, he is a true anus bar. Well, it's not just because of welfare. It's a bunch of other reasons. But, you know, Lorenzo doesn't want to think about all that. But, yeah, no. Inflation, a bunch of other shit. Eh. But, we, but we're not really a... We're not really an economics kind of channel. No, we are not. But we can tell this man is, you know, saying straight bullshit. Abuse? Abuse would be abuse would be the three of us using our powers to beat the living shit out of you. Abuse would be us going over the going over there with both magic missiles and a bunch of gremlins to make your to make your day worse. But what you guys got wait a minute. Oh yeah, y'all still got magic, I don't. I mean you have that magic gun. Where'd you actually get that from? The same way Lin Carr got his. By a cult? Well, 
yeah, but it, the, the person in the gun wanted me to... Uh, the person in the gun is my partner, and he can come out of the gun, and that's why I get, like, a day off on, on Saturday to spend time with my kid. Oh, that's fucking weird. It is, but, like, on some... On some real shit, bro? It's kind of been helping me out. What's his name? Dewey. Dewey? What's his name? It's not short for anything? Nah, Dewey. So is it like Dewis? Dewis Nubis? No, just Dewey. Dewey. Yeah, Dewey. It's fucking weird, man. But Lorenzo. But Lorenzo, motherfucker, I make me and the guys, well, well, G, well, G doesn't get, well, G doesn't get paid like me and Noir do. Yeah, he gets paid in another way since he's the knight of basically a bunch of nations, a bunch of like four nations all sharing the same landmass. It's, uh, it's a long story. Yeah, but you know, I I get a I get a stipend for all the for all the entities we bag, and I, I split that with my agents. I basically I basically charge depending on what the case is. I basically charge. Um, I basically charge about if the rich I charge about like. Mm, Ten thousand. If it's on the low, I you know we work out a little deal. I just be like, hey, ten bucks, ten bucks right now, and fifty bucks later. And you know, and you know if it's a if it's a child that needs it that needs me to do something like a case or something, I do it for free. And you know, my wife Mary kind of like um, my wife Mary uh, basically gets a lot of money from the community theater. Seriously, it'd be it'd be packed over there. I'm I'm so surprised. But yeah, like at the end of the day, um, your video doesn't apply to us. It really doesn't. It just shows that. You're out of touch. You're out of touch. You don't know. You don't know if these people are on welfare or not. Some be you don't know if people got money. People on people on the system doing whatever. You don't know. You're just making a generalization, clown boy. But we'll be back. We'll be back. So clown boy. We're back and we're gonna roast you. So this is gonna be fun again. We're gonna we're gonna do whatever whenever this video. We're gonna roast you, and it's gonna be so much fun, clown boy. Thank you, thank you. You have enriched all of our lives with your with you constantly being a moron. They sent me a picture because the truth hurts. The truth hurts, motherfucker! You sent people to kill people. Yeah, like, how are we all gonna fucking forget any of that? You fucking asshole. Like, what? Ooh, that me abuse because I'm just innocent. Motherfucker, you know, you, you the farthest thing from innocent. If you were in my jurisdiction, I would have put you in jail a long time, city boy. That's the truth. That's the fucking truth. You said literally if you were even if you were anywhere remotely near me and this Bugsy Prime talking I would have whooped your ass a long time ago. No 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 I'd have put you in a soul cage. Like the mo like yeah since your since your soul keeps coming back and forth and back and forth, nah, nah, I put you in that soul cage. You'd be stuck. And have you in my office? Have you in my office? Like a little canary? You'd be like, you'd be like a clown Tweety Bird, a Juggalo Tweety? 
No, no, he ain't a juggalo. Juggalos are fun. He isn't. Well, guys. Let's see what else he has to say before we get out of here. No, we disagree with what you're saying because usually you're talking out of your ass. You've always talked out of your ass, and you've always got the come. Up, you always got your come up ins because you're an asshole. Because you always want to talk shit, and because, and because you always get your ass whooped or you get killed again, and you come back. Well, at least, well, this time you didn't get killed. You just wished you away, which. Could be like you went somewhere else. We don't know. I was actually out looking the other day. See, see my scanners to pick you up. You know, but uh, it seems like you're cloaked somewhere. Because I know. Because I know you're cloaked. Because you know a lot of us would probably try to. You know. You know. To try to attack you preemptively before you attack any of us. But, 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 I do understand, you are a little wuss. Yeah, you took George, you took George's freaking, you took George's freaking title, so what? Ooh, you got a little bit of confidence. Big whoop, George is gonna get it back and you're gonna cry about it, like you do everything. So, that's all I really got to say. G, you got anything to say? Nah. Honestly, I just think um, Lorenzo hasn't changed. You think after getting wished away, you think he'd reevaluate his life, but, you know. Idiots don't reevaluate their lives. And again, what wealth does he have now? He's like, I'm the taxpayer. Oh, like, I'm, you know, I gotta, you know, I'm a taxpayer. Like, what, like, what, what do you do, Lorenzo, outside of this? Like, like, seriously, making videos, you got wish back. What job, what, what, what job is hiring you? <laughs> Who is hiring you? That's what we, that's what the, that's what the three of us want to know. <laughs> you're always, you're always out here talking about how much money you have and, like, You've been killed three times! <laughs> How are you getting all this? How are you getting any money? Shouldn't your assets been frozen the first two times you got killed? <laughs> Either way, dudes. I think I think we're gonna go. The Bugsy Trio. We shall see you all later. Lorenzo, you suck still. And you know what's funny? The three of us have more fulfilled lives than you do. All you're ever really gonna do is hit on George and Boba Dunk Funkin and everybody else. Because on the inside, on the inside, Clowning J, you're just depressed. You're sad. This, your wealth supposedly is the only thing you have because you don't want to connect with anybody. You're that villain. You're the villain that got everything. But you want to you want to talk to us commoners because you have nothing else better to do when you're bored. Only reason why you came back. I don't even know how you came back after being whipped away. That's 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 some that's some different shit. But either way. But either way, Clowny J. We shall see you. We shall see you again. Probably next week. Knowing you, it's probably going to be next week. So, boys, even though we couldn't see it on the on our actual screen, and we had to switch to my phone, what do you say? G, I think Lorenzo's full of shit, like usual. Noir, I think Lorenzo's full of shit, like usual. I think Lorenzo is full of... I think Lorenzo is full of shit, but once again, he wants to just glow up because he got that freaking belt. And like George is gonna take it back, you won't get your, you're gonna get your ass whooped again, and then we're just, we're all gonna party, and I'm gonna laugh, and I'm gonna drink my, one of my circles and be like, <laughs> oh look at it again, he went to the underworld. We're just gonna sit here and laugh, dude. 
See you, Lorenzo. See you next week. We're gonna we're gonna have a we're gonna have a blast talking about you again. And you know, you got me to work with my favorite three people. My favorite two people. Prime you you being serious Prime you you being serious? Yeah, G. I know me and you always fight, but like legit out of the many other versions of me, I'm cool with you. I'm cool with a lot of versions of me, but I'm cool with you the most. And Noir. Thanks, dude. Well, guys, it's been fun. I gotta, I gotta get going. I gotta help uh, Susie with her, with her, uh, sp- with her spelling homework. Yeah, and I gotta get back. I gotta get back to patrolling. You mean you gotta get back to Verge Fun Pillows? Fuck you, Prime. Fuck you, Prime. Fuck you, Prime. I still got it. <laughs> I hate you. Yeah, and I'll see you next week. And for all of you guys out there, uh, what do you think about Lorenzo? Do you think he's full of shit? Do you think? Do you think we're just being mean? You think we're just being mean to him for no reason? Comment below. Let us know. <laughs>